Hello and welcome back, heck, to today's broadcast. As now, we are going to go over to Pirate Pride Productions and a broadcasting crew over at PW. To you, Brant. Over at Palamo Westphalia High Schools, sports are a major part of their culture. It's not out of the realm of possibility to see the two towns drop what they're doing to make it to the Friday Night Lights. But of course, not everyone can make it. That's where Nate Buckley comes in. Nate Buckley is the director of the student-led group of Pirate Pride Productions that broadcasts all of Puamos Felia's home games, such as football, volleyball, as well as boys and girls basketball. We do the graduation ceremony every year, and the point of it is to bring the event to people via online streaming to those who maybe cannot be at the game, maybe they're out of town, maybe they're dealing with some health issues that they can't be at the game, so that's, that's what we do. The club was started in January of 2019 by Nate, his brother Brant, as well as teacher Eric Johnston. Nate says they have had steadily grown over the past five years and believes they have reached most of the community who sports pirate sports. Really, uh, the peak of our program was just after we started it and COVID came around and the following football season and basketball seasons, there was a limit on how many people could come to events. So that led to more people watching us at home. You couldn't come out to the game. So our viewership then was probably double, triple what it is now, just because more people can come to the events now. And back then they couldn't. But we're still holding pretty strong. I'd say that uh, I'd say we're doing pretty average compared to other years of our viewership this year. 3P's equipment is very on par with what professionals use in the field, allowing for students involved to gain valuable hands-on knowledge as well as community service hours that can go towards graduation. So we have our computer, our sound box, and then our camera is out the window and in the stands. Now that differs from basketball because in basketball we have a little bit more room because we're up in the stands, but we do have our own custom made tables with different lengths to accommodate being in the bleachers. And we put all of our stuff on there. Pi Pride has even had some success covering other events outside of the school district. We've had um, some of our biggest opportunities that we've had has actually come away from Powama Westphalia. That is going up to do the GRCC Gladwin game, uh, a couple years ago, we went up to Houghton Lake. We sent a crew up there to cover a couple of uh, girls basketball quarterfinal games. And that drew in a lot of viewership. It drew in a lot of revenue. We do get revenue shares from those views. The MHSA also pays us to do those events as well. So that's good revenue for the program. But it also, you know, when we're on there, we say, you know, we're the broadcasting crew from Guam, Westphalia. So it's good recognition for our program, good recognition from our school, and we hope to put a good product out there. People say, hey, these guys actually know what they're doing. Yeah, I'm just really proud of our kids. Got some really good kids, some kids that have been in this for a long time, um, especially uh, Tate and Beachy. And they're, yeah, uh, I mean, I don't know who those guys are, so. They're, they're great kids. No, we, uh, we're always looking to grow, but the, the group of kids, we got 10 kids right now, and they're uh, very proud of them. If you wanted to watch any of Pirate Pride Productions live broadcasts or any shows they've done in the past, subscribe to the NFHS Network where you can access any high school broadcasts past or present. My name is Brant Beach, back to you in the studio. Thank you Brant. Next up, sports at 11.